I cannot believe how long it's been since I've done a proper Osu Laser update video. What used to be a monthly thing, basically, that I did on my channel, now it's been like, <laughs> it's been like seven months. Now whenever I make an Osu Laser video, it's specifically related to any new custom game modes or any updates in those custom game modes, because the Osu standard experience inside of Osu Laser, on a surface level, seems like it hasn't actually changed that much. But it's also been a very, very long time. Again, it's been like seven months since I last seriously looked at it. And I realized overall, the experience of Osu Laser is pretty different than it used to be in my last time really trying it out. So seeing as it's just past the middle of the year, I think it's time for a serious look at Osu Laser so that I can update myself and update you guys as well on how Osu Laser feels at this point, where it is in development, and see how close it may be or may not be to finally coming out at some point. <laughs> I'm gonna start making yearly laser videos now instead of monthly videos like I used to. Once a year, we'll get a new look at Osu Laser. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoy watching, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's begin the journey to see the new updates in Osu Laser. Remember when Osu Laser was supposed to come out? Yeah, like 2016, right? That was back when it was like Osu Next, though, when it was just like UI redesign of the current client. Yes, this is what Osu Laser used to be. Come on, I want the old stuff. I want the, this is what I, okay, I remember this. When this image came out, it was like the first look at what a new modern Osu could be. And people were like, damn, I can't wait for that to come out in like a couple months. Yeah, this image, I remember these specific images and being like, holy shit. Whoa, Osu's looking futuristic. Granted, it's it's just a wallpaper for the most part, but it looks clean. Look at these maps. Dude, wait, actually, though, you don't even have this in Osu Laser. Look at that. The customizability for Osu Laser that's planned when it comes to skinning is to this extent, like being able to properly customize your UI. Look at that. Look at that. And then I guess you even see it on this blog sort of slowly progressing into what became the new website. What the hell? <laughs> I would totally buy a 400 177 spins per minute shirt. Look at these sneaky shots right here. It's like these pictures are taken in such a way to not reveal that much information about the UI. And again, at the time, people had never seen anything like this. This was crazy for the OSU community. What is this? Huh, four years ago as well. At some point here, it became Osu Laser instead of Osu Next. So 2017 is where laser time begins. And then that's where the blog ends. What was originally just a UI design overhaul became a completely new from the ground up client. So there's the intro, I guess. I wasn't even planning on looking at all that. That will lead us right into our look at Osu Laser 2020. All right, guys, it is laser time. Welcome to us with the old opening as well. Speaking of recent additions, circles, welcome, triangles, random. The one that we just did was welcome. What is circles again? That's like the old laser opening. Welcome to us. I forgot about that one. Where do I even start today, though? Because, like, for myself, I almost want to do a fresh install of Osu Laser. I mean, you couldn't even do this the last time I really looked into the settings. The last time that I really looked at this, the font wasn't even updated. Oh, wait, I forgot about this. Fade play field to red when health is low. I'm going to turn that on. Should I just put everything on default? If I'm going to do a look at Osu Laser 2020 as it is, I want the full default experience. Gameplay cursor, that I'll actually go ahead and change because why not? Be map skins and hit sounds. I'll turn those off. Well, no, I'll keep them default. Full default experience. UI is at one. Storyboard video, hit lighting. I think we're on the full default experience now. Everything looks so big. On the default UI scaling, you can only see five people on the leaderboards. 0.9 is like the best. We're on the default laser skin as well, right? Yeah. So before we look at what's changed in terms of mods and stuff, let's just play the out of the box default laser experience. Trying to read with that parallax is a fat no. Right 
My biggest problem still with the default skin in Osu Laser is that the cursor essentially becomes invisible when you're like following a slider or something because the cursor is just like white. Okay, wait a minute. We're halfway through the map. I've had enough of the default laser experience. Let's go UI scaling 0.9. Background dim 100%. Where is my skin? Raise the cursor size for myself as well. Turn off snaking sliders. Oh god. God, sliders are scary in laser. How do you guys feel about the default laser experience versus the changes that we made mid-map? Definitely think I prefer more close to the current client experience than default laser. <laughs> And now you have this. This is n super new. Timing distribution and accuracy heat map. Actually so cool. The accuracy heat map is how accurate you are on the circles, like on the, the hit circle itself. Seeing the, look at that accuracy, by the way. Very nice. 63 misses. Wait, wait, wait. No, I didn't miss 63. Oh, it's counting slider ends. Right. I forgot that laser does that now. They need to change the, the clarification on that, I feel like. The heat map is really cool to see all the additional beat map information. So I want to look a little bit more now specifically before we go on to other stuff and more of the gameplay changes and additions since I last did this, which mainly are that there's the red fade when you start failing which I think I prefer to not play with. If I'm like going for a pass on a really hard map and I'm like grinding and all of a sudden I see, I see this screen getting red that's terrifying. Like here, let's have an example. Tell you if the HP on your map is too high, by the way. Hifu, I will tell you that, but only after I play it in standard because HP in laser is different than it is in standard. But Osu Laser has made some changes to its HP drain system relatively recently as well, but it is still different than it is in the stable client. And it still, for the most part, feels more forgiving until you play maps with a lot of sliders because you do get constant drain on sliders, which also means anything with DT and sliders very, very difficult to pass in Osu Laser because you really need to be hitting and completing the sliders. Anyway, let's see what the red HP drain looks like on this map. Also, if you didn't know, Osu Laser does have note lock now, along with accurate hitboxes. Some people still think that it doesn't. The thing about the HP and laser, even if you're getting 50s, you still don't really lose much. I actually haven't even seen red because of that. I wanted to play a map that would cause me to see red. <laughs> Apparently HP drain is so forgiving that we're not going to get that. Now out of curiosity, with a really bad ack, what does it look like on the heat map? Not good. <laughs> There's even red dots that you can see. Just DT it, yeah. <laughs> I'll see red at the beginning. Originally, I thought it was like once your HP dips past half, you get like a little inkling of red. But no, it's not until you're just about to fail. And if you're aware of that and you see your screen start turning red, you're doomed. <laughs> That's definitely going to be a, always a permanent turn off. All right, let's play another serious map. Hifu, let me give your map a try. The other thing about Osu Laser too, obviously it's not optimized, but for some people's PCs, Osu Laser performs better than stable. But the issue with that, it entirely changes how it feels to play the game. It feels like anti-delay. <laughs> it feels like predictive cursor movement when I play Osu Laser. Another thing that's weird in Osu Laser is stacked sliders. And just the, the way note lock works, even though there is a, a note lock system that's in place in Osu Laser now, it's still very different than it is in stable. Early hits now miss. No note lock if clicking after the first 
hit objects start time. Wait, what? That makes sense, but isn't that essentially like there being no note lock other than if you hit the note early? If you hit the note after the perfect timing of the note before it, you won't note lock. So yeah, less note lock, pretty much. So the main things that are left are multi-lobby changes, mod-related changes, like with wind up and wind down and the new additions to them, and then how Osu Laser handles Aspire maps. We've got the new Aspire maps to test that with, as well as some of the old Aspire maps. And then I guess the editor and the other game modes. So, should I knock the editor out of the way really quick? You still can't create a new beat map. I'm pretty sure the blue and red ticks also were not a thing. I guess I don't want to comment on anything too much on mapping because every mapper who I've talked to who has seen the Osu Laser Editor has pretty much only ever had negative things to say about it. <laughs> My place, I am placing objects. Look at me go. I'm mapping. I'd like to place a slider here now. And with this slider, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and Bring it all the way over there, all the way over there. And, oops, and now I have my nice, oh. <laughs> and so we will relaunch <laughs> Osu Laser. And I will not mess with the, uh, the beatmap editor anymore. <laughs> The editor is definitely still slightly buggy. There's been so many editor changes. Every time I'm scrolling through this, there's almost always some editor section. I don't know what exactly all of this is, but it looks like there's a whole lot of changes going on in the editor. Implement Osu Tiger Editor. Ti <laughs> Osu Tiger? My new custom game mode, <laughs> Osu Tiger. <laughs> anyway, there's been a lot of changes. I don't see a lot of those myself because I'm not like actively using the laser editor. At least it's not laggy anymore either. Okay, what else do I have that I wanna make sure I look at? Mods, game modes, and multi. Well, actually the multi changes are pretty much only that now in multis, you can select a playlist of maps to play. And then you can also change the mods for each individual map. So let's do that really quick. Koi Fishu's awesome room, edit playlist. I'm gonna play, I need short maps. <laughs> I have like, oh, this is pretty short. Mods. Let's do like all the remaining stuff that I want to look at. Oh, spun out. You used to not be able to turn on spun out. That's new. The changes to wind up and wind down that I haven't seen as well, where you can disable uh, adjusting the pitch. So now if you do a, a super fast speed up. So wait, can I hear it slow down? Imagine this on mope mope. That would actually be good. Okay, we'll play that. We'll play that for sure. All right, those are our multi-maps. I forgot it changes the AR. So now you can see scores that people got on each map. I'm confused as to what that changes specifically. Oh, sounds horrible. God, I forgot your spin speed is so high in laser. Oh my god. Oh, this button at the bottom of the screen is what's new. Those are how the new updated wind up, wind down, and multi options work. Which pretty much only leaves two things for us. The three other main game modes and the handling of Aspire maps. So I don't know what maps to look at with these. I just want to see, let me just put on auto because I just want to see the skinning mainly because I haven't even seen custom skins on the other game modes yet. Yeah, I should switch to the standard skin. God, I, I love being able to switch skins. Oh god, that was too classic. All right, now a brief look at catch. That hit lighting for catch is different, isn't it? I don't remember that. It's really shiny. The notes splashing or the fruits like splashing also used to not be a thing in laser. Now Tycho, I remember being the one game mode where the last time we looked, Tycho like hasn't changed at all. So now that it's been like another six, seven months, how does Tycho look? It's Tycho. Yeah, this doesn't really have much of a change from the, how I remember Tycho being. There's only so much that I can say about the other game modes, but I think we've covered everything now. So Aspire Maps. It's already a lot less laggy. Well, it doesn't crash the game. It's probably just going to be a long freeze right here. 
Oh no, it is, a, it is a crash of the game. Something in the way that it laser handles these types of things has changed. I mean, it's, it's always constantly changing, but it's interesting to see certain times, certain things crash it, other times, other things crash it. I would imagine then that the majority of the Aspire type maps that we could think of playing in standard aren't going to work or are going to work until the point where an infinite BPM slider like that crashes the game. Now, Mope Mope doesn't have any of those, does it? Okay, that wind down is pretty terrifying on this map. <laughs> it's quite fitting. This is way better than playing the map normally. What's the ending like and slow down the ending jump scare? Let's see. The scream at the end plays before the, the jump scare, but I think it's a bit better because in normally when you play this map, the scream plays after. All right, that is the optimal way to play this map, guys. As a final thing, and as also kind of a throwback to the old times where I would do these laser checkups, I do want to try to see if we can load in Karu's Aspire. How does Osu Laser 2020 handle a map that used to break the game? Probably still breaks it. I think I might have crashed on the skip. It's probably just gonna resume like halfway into the map or something. Oh, well, there you go. Yo, I haven't played this in so long inside of Laser. Oh yeah, some of these the sliders just don't show up. Yeah, most of the sliders actually don't show up. You know, all things considered, that actually works pretty well. What is that little red dot on the accuracy heat map? Do you see that? What is that? <laughs> yeah, no crash though, no crash. Well, guys, yearly look at laser. The current 2020 client, as it is, is uh, certainly further along than it's ever been, obviously. It is cool and nostalgic for me to look at everything that's in laser. It's still got quite a ways to go, but it's nice that when you're just playing a map normally, the performance is good and the gameplay feels normal. The new note lock implementation is weird to get used to and slider leniency is obviously a big change. But uh, in terms of all of the times when we've played laser, it's definitely the best today than it was any other time I've done that, so. See you next time. Complete look at Osu Laser 2020. Done. <laughs>